Border Pass 316. Guys, this is insane. We in Europe, and not just any Europe, Central Europe as well, where they have their own food, their own culture, and guess what we have in Korean and Japanese for lunch. It is so funny how like the Asians like kind of like goes toward the Asian taste. Anyway, last night we had Thai in Geneva, and now we have in Korean and Japanese in Budapest, Hungary. It is so funny. I posted on Instagram and friends like, what are you thinking? Anyway, right now we are in a restaurant called Yamato. It's quite fancy to be honest. And I asked my cousin, are you sure you want to go in? Because this is only like second day or third day. I, I lost calm guys. So many languages, so many currencies. But I'm, we are so hungry so we decided to come here. And probably get, get a set menu, it's easier. This tap. <laughs> This cold water costs nearly 10 Australian dollars. It's alright for the service. Calm down. So I think in total we order around 50. How much was yours? So we'll see how much the end result is. And then we'll see how it goes from there. So while I was cleaning up upstairs, they got us some food. I am so excited guys. Especially this here is good lighting as well, natural light. By the way, the bathroom is so fancy, fancy AF. They even got like some orchid flowers on the, you know, the washing area. Oh, I just like, I, I can't, I can't. Yep, thank you very much. Do you need help on the wheel? Yeah, that's all right, I know. Yeah. Guys, please don't blame us. <laughs> we, we come to Europe and eat Asian food. So, the bulgogi is here. Let's go and eat. So, my cousin ordered something differently. Uh, it's the noodle. I think it's, it's like tteokbokki but with like noodles instead. So, I'm gonna try it. And she said it's really good. Actually, it tastes authentic. Like I mentioned, it's like the poppy, but with rice noodles there. So dinner was quite good, actually. Dinner. I meant to say lunch. Quite good, honestly. Um, it and we ended up paying thirteen thousand and five hundred oh seven Hungarian money, which is around forty five euro or sixty nine um, Australian dollar. For two people, I consider that a success, like only $35. Hey, finally we got into the apartment that we rented for one night. And um, I will show you a uh, house tour real quick. So let's start with the kitchen. There are two stories by the way, so this is downstairs. So we got some kitchen and what's in here? Ah. Oh. Okay, cups, glasses, and some plates. We've got some toaster, I think. And coffee, sugar, and microwave. Make sure there's nothing in there, yep. Um, what are these? Pretty much the same. And I've got some fridge. Uh, there's no kettle. Cutleries, ladles, some pans, and yeah. So there you go. Oh, yeah, there's some kettle and chairs, dining area. There's the other luggages and my cousin right there. And I haven't seen upstairs yet. Okay, so let's go and check out upstairs. Honestly, I'm quite nervous. Ah, oh, fun. This is good for like big company. Then we've got some lounge here and bedroom over there. That's good. Luckily, I'm not too tall. Otherwise, I will be like hitting the roof. But that's a look at the hangar. Oh my god. Improvise. We've got some bean bags and check out the toilets. Extra pillow. You can actually like just rent for two people and invite some friends in. Okay, so turn on the light. Whoa. Okay. Bathroom clean, so that's really good. And there you go. The other room checked in like just after before us and they ran out of toilet paper. 
and we got two very big oh they don't have soap or anything that's all right okay so let's go let's go downstairs and we've got some view as well just right at the car park but anyway i'm going to have um, some rest and i'll see you guys later at 3 p.m hello everyone i'm back i've changed the shirt still same hat glasses anyway showered cleaned up everything nice it took us like two hours to get ready because you know like when we go to the, our apartment and check in and everything everything it's just like hopeless like um the receptionist she was so nice she kept apologizing like everything did not work as we hoped for and the toilet kind of broken the the shower they don't have like a proper toiletry for us and then we had to wait and stuff and then she run just keep running in and out in and out in and out you know keep helping us and stuff so finally now at four o'clock we are ready to go explore Budapest so the first place that we're going to see is the national assembly from what I was told by my cousin and then we will go to the, um, the palace Nine degree guys, super hot. I changed initially I wear shorts, but I changed it to pants. Now I regret not wearing shorts. Damn it. So that bridge that we just crossed earlier, it was a really nice stroll, you know, to get a some cool breeze and stuff and have a look at the scenery from both sides. So we have arrived at the top of the mountain. I'm not sure how to pronounce this place, so I'm not going to butcher it. I'll put the, uh, the names in the descriptions or in the title, but the scenery is so insane, so beautiful. We walk up and then we walk down and then I'm going to film it for you guys so you guys can see. Look at that couple, so sweet. Uh, are we photo bombing them? Popular photo frame right there, the three frame. I queue for like 10 minutes just to get a perfect shot. Hopefully we get a good one for Instagram. And right now we keep walking that way. See if they're oh. all. I want to go at the top. What is that? It's not real, right? What? This is even more insane. Look at the light. I'm just wait we just waiting for the sun to set right now so we can get that orange glow. Oh, look at that puppy. <laughs> Adorable. As you saw earlier, in the majority of the vlog, we spent a lot of time just trying to get those shots for, you know, perfect pictures. 
anyway, right now we are walking back to catch the bus number 16 to go to a shopping mall because I am thirsty as a. Um, behind me, the fisherman Bayshin. I hope I say that name right we went there already we did not go in like inside like buy tickets and stuff because um due to time constriction so we just like went around do what most tourists do and then right now we decided to move on to the next thing Starbucks again. I need to buy some drinks. So thirsty. Younger. So, we just finished our dinner, it was alright, but I over ate again, I over ate every time. And I want to show you guys real quick, this is the next stop that we're going to see. Hero Square, right there. I'm going to give you guys a close up once we cross the road. Guys, if you ever come to Budapest, I highly recommend come to this area, Hero Square at night time because it's much cooler, especially in the summer time, you know, hot during the day and cool during the night. So come over here, especially the lighting and everything. It looks so beautiful. Of course, during the time you're going to see it in a different perspective, I personally think the nighttime is the best. Guys, just a quick pro tip. When you come here at night, there are going to be a lot of mosquitoes. So put something on or wear like long sleeve to cover up. That's good because my cousin, she's wearing short skirt and all the like, mosquitoes swarming her right now. So after we went to the Hero Square, we decided to come here as our final destination of tonight because it is like 9.30 already. It's opposite the um, Budapest Parliament House. Look at that. So beautiful. And of course my cousin, first things first, she goes to take some photos. The scenery here is so beautiful. I highly recommend that after you finish your dinner, the sun has set and everything, go to Hero Square first and then hop on the yellow line, the metro number three, number three, the yellow line, and then transfer to the red line, which is number two, and then come here to take a picture with this. Look at that, it's so yellow, so golden. I'm gonna miss this tomorrow. This is a great place, you know, to have conversation, hanging out with friends, families, and you know, just like enjoying your time during the summer night. So unfortunately, this concludes our trip in Budapest. Actually, tomorrow we go in to see those, um, you know, shoes along the riverside. So, but it's not a solid plan yet. So we're still deciding whether we should go or not, depending on how much energy we have left from today. Currently, it's like nearly 10 o'clock. We have to go back, do some laundry, repair, pack for tomorrow, and then, oh my god, again, to another country. So I got back home for a while after like changing into my home clothes, did the laundry, waiting for it to dry, put it in, uh, in the dryer. Today has been a success. Winter Pass is beautiful, it's amazed me. Like, I'm so tired right now. It's nearly midnight and I have to sleep. I have to go, I think the plan is to go and see those shoes tomorrow and then go straight to um, Bratisaba. Anyway, thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time. Um, don't forget to check out my other video on Drama Block series and check out my merch as well. The links will be down below and my Instagram and my other channels. The link will be up there in the description box. Thank you once again. See you next time. Have a good day.